Moon Meander experience with her eternal envy. Let's listen in. One day before we entered uh, the like, the sixth signing with Team Crazy, he left us. We were in talks with Shining and Crazy for like weeks, months. And then one day before, he and Snake just left to join C9 to go to Beyond the Summit. I was like, questioning Beyond the Summit, like, yo, why aren't you guys inviting us? We like this one slot, we're NA team, we're like, the, uh, JSOM is there, EG is there, like, we're the third NA team, like, why aren't you guys inviting us? And then later, like, they're like, oh, it's slots taken already, slots taken already. And then, I was so confused. Oh, who took my slot? And I'm like, who can it be? And the whole time, this double agent EE was the guy taking my slot. They're not saying a single thing. Leaving one day before we send a contract. Go to Beyond the Summit. Go 0-22. Instant disband Cloud9. And that was enough for me to like never see EE ever again. Like, ever. Like, gone. Just goodbye. Finito. Goodbye, friend. You're done. I just have one feeling about EE. I, I actually think he's an interesting character, right? Like, a lot of people dislike him, a lot of people like him. I kind of just think, I, I'm just like fascinated by him. I really believe that EE has overdosed on anime so much. It, like, it's almost, you guys think I'm exaggerating, but he's overdosed so much that I think he sees everybody else in his entire life as side characters to his protagonist story rise to the top, where eventually he'll win like five TS in a row or something, right? Everybody will realize he's the greatest. I just feel like he still believes that in some kind of way, you know? Everybody's just a side character. And I don't- the reason I don't, like, hate on him for it, because I don't even think he has, like, bad intentions. He's not, like, evil. He's just, he just thinks he's the main character. That's all. That's what it feels like. I don't know. I don't know the guy that much, to be perfectly honest. The interactions I've had with him, he wasn't rude to me or anything. I just, that's just a feeling. That's just a feeling. The e coach Okay. No hate to the guy. No hate to the guy. I just... It's like, uh, the boy who, You ever heard the folk story? The boy who cried wolf? First time, there were no wolves. Second time, there were no wolves. But the third time, there's the wolves and he gets caught with his pants down and he dies or whatever. This is like that, but like, this is the 50th time he's crying wolf already. Like, he's gonna do the same thing in every team he joins. He's gonna undermine the team, try to replace you, Find better replacements. This is what he does. That's who he is as a person. He's always been like that for like years now. He's not changed yet. It's not that he's bad. He does bring in a lot of drama and polarizing figure in the community. So I can respect him for doing that. A lot of drama. Very fun to watch. A lot of funny EE plays. But one thing I can tell you guys. Do not be his teammate. Because you will get kicked or backstabbed or... Like last second, like, like hamstring. Some way you'll find some way to do it. He's not a teammate. He's a, he's a, he's a. He looks at you like a thing. That's what he is. That's that's how I feel when I play with him. Some it works for some people. If you want to be used as things, go for it. Like Jubei, I know likes to take it up the ass. So he he played E for a little bit, and he got kicked. I I even said I I when Jubei played the E and I read the team, I'm like Jubei, I give it about. Two months, you'll be talking shit about EE. It's like, shut the fuck up, Moon. And two months later, uh, I didn't, I didn't, you know, tell it in his face, Jubei's face, like, hey, look who's right, who's wrong. I, I just let it sit, and Jubei really totally forgot about what I said a couple months ago. Just shitting at EE every time he can, tipping him. I'm like, watching the games, I'm like, what did I tell you, Jubei? What did I tell you, Jubby bro? I already saw this coming. Yeah, maybe it's, uh, he got kicked since a no titan to kick, then they won TI. So maybe that like programmed his head to be like, yo, if I kick people, I win TI. Like, that's just like, like programming in his brain or something like that. Because not many people, people forgot, like before this season, like what happened pre-COVID. In case you guys forgot, let me refresh your memories real quick, guys. The first major before COVID ended, what was it? Chengdu Major. Three NA teams. In the top six, in the upper bracket, three NA teams, upper bracket. Let me refresh your memory, guys, in case you guys forgot about any Dota before COVID. We got ninth to twelfth place at the major because E fucked up and I fucked up, and everyone fucked up. Yeah, JSOM top six, remember that? And then right after the major, E said, "I should go from off lane or wherever to position to, to position five. AUI should play position four, and Snakey should play off lane." 
Before that, it was snaking on 4, AUI 5, and I'm 3. Then he wants me to go from 3 to 5, AUI from 5 to 4, and snaking to 3. I don't play 5, but he wanted me to play 5. And then that, and he was so adamant about it. And I was like, let's put it to a vote. And he's like, no, no voting, blah, 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 blah. Either we do this, or I'm probably going to leave the team. Okay, fine, let's do this. I did it. It didn't work out super well, but you know, we were like slowly mashing. And then, don't forget guys, Cloud9 EE with Misery Game Pilot died. One day before we entered the... The... Fucking, uh, whatchamacallit. One day before we entered, uh... Carry, I think. One day before we entered, uh... The... Like, the six signing with Team Crazy. He left us. We were in talks with Shining and Crazy for like weeks, months. And then one day before, he and Snaking just left. To join C9. To go to Beyond the Summit. I was like, messaging Beyond the Summit like, yo, why aren't you guys inviting us? We like this one slot, we're NA team, we're like, the, uh, JSOM is there, EG is there, like we're the third NA team, like, why aren't you guys inviting us? And then later, like, they're like, oh, it's slots taken already, slots taken already. And then, I was so confused, oh, who took my slot? And I'm like, who can it be? And the whole time, this double agent EE was the guy taking my slot, not saying a single thing, leaving one day before we send a contract, go to Beyond the Summit, go 0 and 22, instant disband Cloud9. Ten seconds remain. And that was enough for me to like never see EE ever again. Like, ever. Like, Five gone. Seconds. Just goodbye. Finito. Goodbye, friend. You're done. That was like, the EE, uh, EE bye-bye thing. And every ever since then, every time he joins some NA team, I'm just stroking my like chin. I'm like, they're making a mistake. They're making a mistake. They're making a mistake. That's my story, guys. E. But you know, he's always gonna have fans, and I respect his fans because he is very polarizing. He's very entertaining. So that's why I like. I actually watch his stream a lot, even though I don't like him as a teammate. I love him as a streamer. I watch his stream all the time. You guys you guys have no clue. It's always like on the second tab. I quiver with anticipation. You've got rocks in your head. Yes. It's in the bag. for battle. I'll cut a notch with your name on it. Oh, no problem, indicted. Moon, are you gonna carry me, man? Yeah, I'm carrying this game. I feel it. Jake's jokes. Leo starts to carry this team. Arrow, fly. I pick draw means I'm Time not gonna to carry put shit. This thing in the bag and drown it in the river. <laughs> I believe in you. Tigers <laughs> carry Moon Meander. The, the last of like a week. The battle that was truly in the bag. Agreed. One hour later. Maybe Ench run in first. One of his real, one of his real. That one. He wasted both, he wasted both. Into the field. Everyone just running away from me. The PL just solo boxed my whole team out. I actually feel like the PL could have died here. He walked up. I silenced him. We were hitting the real PL. If we arena spear the PL there and SF ulties him, he's dead. He's actually just dead. The PL walks up. Mentors my silence, walks away with the rear hero, and wins. This guy is crazy. Who's this guy? This guy is a psycho. Crazy.
Thank you, five more minutes. I need to dodge this pool. One sec. Can you please not do that? It's a new chair, Milo. You're gonna scratch it. You're gonna scratch it. Ah! Don't fall! Don't fall! We're gonna get in trouble! Okay. Oh my god, close one, close one. Okay.